Hi, I'm CJ Altmerg at TransWest, Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to look at a brand new 2022 Logan Bullseye three horse bumper pull. These three horse bumper pulls have been selling like crazy. This is a really good price point trailer. It's very well optioned. We do have some options we can do to these, so we try to kind of keep a little bit of a variety on what we have available, what we have on order for you. So just because we don't have a whole lot sitting here in these three horse bumper pulls right now, doesn't mean we've got a bunch coming. So you can put your name on one of them that's coming here very soon. So give us a call if, if this one doesn't quite fit the bill, maybe you want a couple different options, different color, anything like that, we can sure help you out with that. So let's take a look at it again. It's a 22 model. So there, we're already on the 22 models, which is pretty crazy. We just turned a calendar year on 21. But again, it's a bullseye model. It is a three horse bumper pull. Let's kind of dive into this because these are very well optioned trailers and I'll point out a couple things that they've done compared to like their Crossfire model which is their very entry level trailer. Um, there's a couple things right off the bat you'll notice here on this tack door. I want you to notice it's square at the top and when it's square at the top that means it's been built at the factory. If it's round at the top it is a prefab door so it's a little bit lighter weight. Um, those those crossfire models or those prefab doors I mean I recommend to customers that they lock the tack door even driving down the road because the right bump will almost get that door to pop open sometimes these here are a lot heavier duty this is something we're going to use on this trailer every time we use it so this door will hold up so a lot heavier duty framework there you'll notice a brush box on the door and then obviously we've got a three-tier saddle rack that I have swung out right now this post is set up for a fourth one. So if you did want to add or if you want to space these out any way you want, you can do that. But it's really nice to be able to come up here, not have to hop in the tack room to get saddles on and off of there. One of the options that we like to do on all of our trailers, if possible, is we like to go in and add this corner water tank. So it's kind of tucked behind that corner there. This one here is a 35 gallon. It's gravity fed. So you just fill at the top to be able to, they do like to throw a little hose in there. You get a little ball valve and you can fill buckets out here on the ground, or you can set a bucket underneath this spigot here. Uh, now, obviously during colder winter months, you'll need to just drain that tank out, but very, very simple to do since it's just gravity fed. Carpet on the partition wall for all those bridle hooks up there, they give you them all the way across. So a good amount. It's not like they just give you a, Hey, here's three or six and that's it. And then there's a four tier blanket pole that is secured with a snap, how it's positioned right now. But I can undo this snap, this, that snap and that blanket pole will also swivel as well. Spare tire. Now we've upgraded this trailer to aluminum rims. That's another thing. So not only do you get an upgrade of aluminum wheels, sometimes some manufacturers will cut a little bit of cost and make that spare a steel wheel. But they've gone ahead and they've done five aluminum wheels. It really dresses this trailer up. Those steel wheels, you know, over time will chip. You'll get kind of like a surface rust almost. They'll just kind of get a, a real kind of ugly color to them. But we do like these aluminum wheels. Again, they just really sharpen up this trailer. You've got three bus windows, three tie hooks here on the outside. And then you'll also notice a load light above on that top rail as well. You do have load lights all the way around this trailer. So you've got them on each side, the back, and then you've got some interior lights as well. As we work our way to the stall area, you've got dual 50-50 independent doors. So you can shut one ahead of the other. They don't have to go in any type of sequence. Nice inviting opening here without having a rear tack. You can build a bullseye with a rear tack if you want. So that can be done. But as we get in here to the stall area, again, a couple things. On the Crossfire model compared to the bullseye, this will be a, a a single sheet of aluminum there's no extrusion to it you got a lot of 
bigger framework around here. All this framework has a radius too, which is really nice. So horse safety and then pads on the dividers as well. This back one is a telescoping. And the reason why it telescopes is so if we decide to open everything up on this trailer, I can shut my rear doors over that now. So then in the first, first and second stall, that divider between, that one's a non-telescoping, so that one's a solid divider, again with pads on it. These are slam latches, so nothing really protruding out from the wall. You know, it's safe for you, it's safe for the horses. You can get a horse in there and slam this shut. Also, you know, I'm not having to worry about drop a pin as I'm holding this divider in with the horse in there or trying to get them out as well. Three LED lights. Those are on switches as well on the back of this trailer, so I don't have to get in here to the stall area to run those lights. I can actually do it from the back post, which is really nice. Again, I'm not having to worry about safety. I'm getting in here with horses. Uh, again, I can just hit the light there. Three roof vents. They're two-way, so they'll grab air and force it down into the horses. We can release air, which in the winter months, as horses are in here, it's a little bit more sealed up. As they warm up, body heat warms up. That heat rises, you can kind of get rid of it, which is, that's what we need to do. We need to try to keep them as comfortable as possible. Now, compared to a lot of competitors out there, one thing I always point out is this, the roof. You'll notice that there's, there's a bow to this roof. A lot of competitors in this price point will have a flat roof. And why that's important is here we live in Colorado. You know, we do have some, some snowy times of the year that snow will sit on these trailers with those flat roofs and just basically kind of eat away at those, those weather seals um, on the roof itself. So that will be a cost to you sooner because having to reseal those flat roofs and we see it time and time again on some trailers when they come in on trade to where on this Logan, because that bow's there, it will get that moisture away from the trailer. Not to say you'll never have to reseal the roof. You probably will if you own this trailer a long time, um, but you're just doing it more frequently and sooner on those flat roofs. The other thing that Logan does is this is a galvanized steel frame aluminum body. So we have galvanized steel which won't rust like black steel will. There's a lifetime corrosion warranty on this trailer. So we have the strength of steel. It's not gonna rust like our normal black steel will that a lot of competitors use. But then we lighten it up with the aluminum, gives it a nice sleek look to it as well. But then they've gone in and done this vortex lining, which is like a bed liner um, on those, those steel pieces, which Boy, in this stall area, it's really, really strong, but I think it deadens the noise quite a bit in these trailers as well. Not only do they incorporate, incorporate it there, but they incorporate it here on the floor. Now this, this model here, you can upgrade into an aluminum floor. The base is gonna be a wood floor, which this is, that's covered in the, the vortex lining again. I'm not going to say you'll never have to replace these boards, but again, you probably won't have to do it as frequently as some other trailers because that vortex lining is really going to seal that, the top of those, those boards where that urine is, but there's gaps so that urine will get, a, get out of this trailer as it works towards those gaps as well. Another thing as we work over here to driver's side is the drop windows same concept that I talked about on the tack door where it's a, pre, uh, a prefab door with a rounded at the top. These are nice heavy duty drop windows. So this is framework. This is built at the factory. Some other competitors or um, uh, again if you're using those prefab drop windows you can literally get them in your hand and I can wiggle them with my fingers and they will shake. You know, imagine a horse hitting it or something hitting it, you know, you're gonna break a window and having to replace that. To where on these guys, with it being heavy duty, I mean, I can shake the whole trailer. You know, these will hold up a lot better in the long run. Maybe a little bit more cost up front, but in the long run, it'll save you a lot of money, that return on investment for you. They put some screens on there, and then also these big heavy duty jail bars. These guys drop down as well. So if you need to throw some feed, throw some water in there, if you stop somewhere, if you stop somewhere and want to open up, let the horses kind of stick their heads out, you can do that. 
And then they also have this pulley bar. You know, up here is the latch itself, but this pulley bar is down a little bit lower. So a little easier to get these open and closed if you're a little bit more vertically challenged. You can lock these windows. It's gonna have the same key code as the tack door, so it's all one. You'll notice also above these is a drip rail. So that drip rail will help get that moisture away from those windows, getting them in the, in the gaps, getting into the seals there and freezing them up or, or possibly having some leak into the trailer. So that drip, drip rail is really nice to have on these trailers. Again, it gets all that away from it. This trailer is the silver sheeting, standards white, but we try to kind of mix up for inventory purposes, kind of some different colors silver, uh, kind of a champagne, white, uh, let's see what else do we throw in there, um, charcoal is another one, you can go black, we try to actually kind of stay away from the black sheeting just because we've done a little bit of testing and it does get a little bit warmer um, in the summer months, it really does conduct heat. Now our, our roof is not that color, it's a silver, but the sidewalls do conduct a little bit more when we get into that that black sheeted trailer, so we kind of actually stay away from it. If you want that, we can absolutely change a trailer or build it for you that way. Stock number on this one, if you're interested, again, it's a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pull, 5N 201 259. Like I mentioned, we've got a lot on order. They are going pretty fast. People are putting their names on them before they're showing up, making a few tweaks if we can. Um, which we can easily uh, discuss with you, but give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out with that. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.